Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom, and in today's video, we're going to give you a full guide of the brand new app called Threads, which came from the company Meta, previously known as Facebook. This is a brand new app that is very similar to the app Twitter. If you've used it before, think of Threads as a Twitter alternative as they work almost identically. Now, when creating your brand new Threads account, you will need to have an Instagram account already created. So if you do have an Instagram account, fantastic. You can use that account to sign up for threads. When you first open the app, it's going to ask you to make a bio. You can select the import bio from Instagram option, and this is going to import the exact description or bio that you use in your current Instagram account that you have connected. You can also add the same link that you use from your Instagram account by hitting import from Instagram. Additionally, you can do the same thing with your profile picture and essentially import everything over from Instagram. We are going to set our account to public and here you can follow all. What follow all does is it follows all the people you are following already on your Instagram account now on threads. We're going to click continue and moving on. This is the dashboard of threads, the main hub, the main timeline, whatever you want to call it. The more you scroll down, you'll see threads or tweets. I don't know what they're called yet. We're going to call them threads for this video. When you click on a tweet and you click on the likes, you can view who's like the thread. When you tap the three buttons in the top, you can view the options mute, hide, block, or report. And this is for any tweet that you tap on. To like a tweet, you can just press the heart button and it will like the tweet. You can also like comments under the tweet. If you want to reply, just hit the reply button and there you can type in a reply to that thread. If you want to add a photo to your thread, you can hit the link button within your thread post and you just want to hit post and we'll post a reply to that thread. Keep in mind, everything works the exact same as Twitter along with these repost and quote threads. I'm not too positive if they're called quote tweets as that would be a straight rip on Twitter, but it works the exact same way that you can just quote a thread. So now you users can see your thread and then the thread that you quoted. You can also share threads by selecting the share button and you can do things like add it to your Instagram story, post it to your Instagram feed, post it to your Twitter account, as well as copy the link of the tweet and share it via pretty much any other social media option. Now, if you want to refresh the homepage, you just got to scroll up at the top and it will refresh all of the threads that you're going to see on your timeline. Now going over to the heart button in the bottom right, we can see all of the activity on our account and all it will show replies, mentions and mentions from verified accounts. But if we go and select the replies, you'll see only replies. You select mentions, you'll see only mentions. You can also choose to follow accounts within your activity. As you can see, I just requested to follow that user. Now going over to the search button in the bottom of the screen, we can go and search search for different accounts. As you can see, I'm searching for YouTube right now and I hit the follow button and I followed them and now I'm on the YouTube account on threads and you can see they have one thread posted. You can also scroll through the search option to find the accounts you want, but it's much easier to just search in the search bar. Now let's go to the person icon and this is going to be your own account. You can see the threads that you have. I don't currently have a thread. So what I'm gonna do is go to the middle button on the app and this is how you create your first thread. See, I'm typing in my first thread right now and I'm posting it to my account. Now, I don't really care if you follow me on threads, but if you wanted to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it would mean a ton as I really want to hit 100,000 subscribers so I get a nice little YouTube play button. Now, once our thread is finished and we add it in our emoji, all you have to do is hit post and this is going to post the thread to your live feed or anybody to view 
as long as your account is set to public. Now you can see we can click on our tweet and we can actually choose who can reply to the thread. I know I keep saying tweet, it is a thread. Get it through your head. Now if we go to the replies, you can see the one reply I've made on this account. Now going to the top right, this is how you view the settings within your threads account. And if you want to edit your profile, there isn't many options at the moment by just adjusting bio link and changing your profile to private. You can't currently change your username, but if you're curious on how to do that, I'll have a video linked down below, which shows you step by step. Now going to the top right, once again, here you'll have a bunch of different options. Once again, you can switch your account to private. You can also view the mentions and change where the mentions you want to come from. You can also adjust the offensive words and phrases, and you can add custom words and phrases that you don't want to see on your threads account. You can also view the blocked accounts on your threads account, and that pretty much sums up the settings. Now, I think that's going to conclude our walkthrough of how to use threads. I hope it was very easy to understand. And if you do have any questions, please do leave them down in the comment section, and I'll be sure to answer them. Once again, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.